We explain the notorious 1919 World Series. This is easily one of the most famous World Series, even among non-baseball fans, due to the gambling scandal. It has many references in pop culture, like The Godfather Part II, Field of Dreams, and The Great Gatsby, to name a few. It's been studied in depth by baseball historians and documentarians for a century. It would crowd the post-war news with things like deaths from the Spanish flu, the Chicago race riots, the 19th Amendment, the Red Scare, the push for prohibition. Rumors of thrown games and gambler influence had plagued baseball from its early days. Names of players who had possibly thrown games included Rube Waddell and Heine Zimmerman. The Chicago Cubs had been accused of throwing the 1918 series against the Red Sox. However, the 1919 series would mark the turning point when gambling would no longer be ignored. The basic rundown of the series is pretty well known. Eight members of the Chicago White Sox, then the most dominant team in baseball, and most of whom had won the 1917 series, either took money or met with gamblers to throw the World Series against the Cincinnati Reds. This would be the Reds' first appearance. The popular motive was that the players were underpaid and treated badly by their owner, Charles Comiskey. The conspiracy was to be played out on bad pitching by Eddie Seacott and Lefty Williams through an extended nine-game series. Throughout the series, the White Sox would come roaring back to life, usually when rookie and non-conspirator pitcher Dickie Kerr would pitch, so as to make people not suspicious. Arnold Rothstein was the major player of the Gamblers. Many players would never even see the cash they were promised, and the Sox would still lose 5-3. The scandal wouldn't break until the following season. The biggest consequence would be baseball hiring a commissioner to oversee the game. The players were found not guilty in court, but Judge Kennesaw Mountain Landis, new commissioner, banned them and anyone who tainted the game for profit for life. There is debate about Joe Jackson, who hit the only home run and batted 375. Non-conspirators Collins and Shock would go to the hall.